Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Hope you're all well. Today we're going to take a look at the USS Australia. This is known as the Commonwealth class. Now straight away, it appears to be a ship that's upside down. Now I think there may be a bit of humour going on here, as we know Australia is in the Southern Hemisphere, and Preparing I suppose technically upside down compared to the Northern Hemisphere. This ship, however, despite its upside down appearance, is highly capable. It's armed with a sophisticated photon torpedo array, it can fire quantum torpedoes, it has a pulse type cannon, and even comes equipped with armor plating. I thought a good first test would be to go against the USS Enterprise F, the Odyssey class. They feature similar weapons, although the Enterprise F doesn't have any pulse phases. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. Oh man, this is so weird. Right, let's get our torpedoes ready. Pulse phases. Ooh, which missed. Okay, they're using quantum, so it makes sense to me that we change the quantums as well. Changing torpedo mode. Ooh, there we go. Oh, they're tracking! Oh! That is a big saucer section, isn't it? It's a quantum torpedo battle, this. We've lost some of our forward launchers, unfortunately. Now the Enterprise F is actually auto distributing its shield. Okay, we've got their shields down slightly. Gosh! Come on, turn, turn, turn. I'm trying to light up. Yeah, I think we do. Ooh, no, no, no. Oh, the shields absorbed that. That was good. Oh. Okay, so now it's our turn in the Mighty Odyssey class. Whoops. Right. I'm surprised um, at the Australia's performance, to be honest. I thought it would actually beat the Enterprise F quite easily. Well, let's see how the computer handles it. Okay, we've already... <laughs> we're damaging their armor quite badly there, actually. Yep, their ablative armor has been hit. I think they're changing to quantum torpedoes as they've not fired any photons, I don't think, yet. But will they get time? Oh, there's the pulse phaser and the quantums, here they come. Okay, we've got through their armor. We've got their shield generator. Things are not going good. For them. Oh gosh. Well, there we go. The Enterprise F is victorious. The Commonwealth class is still a very interesting looking ship. The only thing I can think of as to why it's positioned upside down is maybe something to do with the slipstream drive. What do you guys think? 
thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Bye for now.